Bogart paid off as Antoine was shaken up and brutally cut from a flurry of elbows in the first round. Antoine didn't let the bleeding affect him and stepped it up another gear in the second round with perfectly timed kicks to counter Ilya's aggressiveness. Both fighters held nothing back in round three, exchanging blow for blow. Ilya put his deadly elbows to good use once again, but Antoine doesn't back down, returning the favor with venomous kicks of his own. Both fighters start the fourth round cautiously, focusing to neutralize the offensive of their opponent while looking for an opening to deliver the decisive blow. Heeding the advice of his trainer, Antoine changed his game plan and surprised his opponent with combinations of punches and knees, effectively wearing Ilya down. In the end, this fight could easily go either way. It all comes down to the mechanics and who landed more hits. If the judges feel Ilya won, it may be because of the constant pressure he imposed with his elbows and punches, which made his mark on the Frenchman. But if they feel Antoine pulled off the victory, it would be due to consistently landing kicks and knees, matched by some late pressure on his opponent. To say this fight was close is a serious understatement.